Hi everyone and welcome to today's Vlogmas. Now today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be giving you some top tips of how to stay happy and healthy during the winter time and the festive time. So I've basically teamed up with the lovely people at Actimel and we've come up with some really fun ideas of ways to stay happy and healthy physically and mentally over this period. And we're also going to be doing a really fun giveaway. So make sure you check out the down bar below that will have all of the details of how you can enter and you can basically win yourself a really nice kind of goodie bag, well hamper for this kind of time of the year filled with loads of goodies and Actimel products. So the most important thing to remember is obviously that our immune systems, immune systems? But our immune systems are really low at this time of year because there's kind of germs flying around, the weather's really cold, I don't know what it's like near you guys, unless you're in Australia. Um, it's really, really chilly at this time of year. So it's really important to really give your immune system a boost. So the most important thing is obviously starts with breakfast. Now for me, my breakfast starts with drinking one of these little boys every day. So this is basically Actimel and this is a pro probiotic yogurt drink. So what one of these does every morning is basically supports your immune health with two thirds of us basically get sick during the year. So it's really important to basically ensure that your immune system is working well. So this basically helps to make sure that your immune system works well. And I just kind of have it alongside my normal breakfast and it's so tasty, like it's honestly really, really good. And it's a really good way of getting vitamins B6 and D6 into your diet. So it's so, so good for you. Now, another way to obviously do through breakfast um, to get in the, the nutrients, I've actually started using something called the Nutribullet. Now you guys might be um, kind of more aware of this. I've only started using it quite recently. It's a really good way of kind of doing things like protein shakes or doing um, smoothies in the morning. So if you're really in a hurry, it's just a really good way of kind of putting nutrients into your diet super quickly. So you don't have to sit there and prepare for hours and hours. You can kind of just get like frozen berries, um, some yogurt like this, and then you can kind of just throw it all together, basically mix it all up and you've got yourself a super healthy drink that you can take with you on the go and it will fuel you for the morning. Another tip I'd say is obviously, this is really, really simple, but it's really cold outside, so definitely wrap up warm. I have a super, super warm coat that I put on that's so toasty during the winter and obviously scarves and stuff as well. Just try and wrap up as much as you can because people forget and you're out and about and you're just wearing your normal scarf or your normal, sorry, your normal coat and your neck is kind of exposed. That really means for me, I'm just bound to get a cold. So make sure you wrap up really super toasty and warm. As I said, I've got this really super toasty coat that I wear and I'm just obsessed with it. Also, another thing that I'd say is I, a couple of years ago, forgot to get my flu jab done and basically I was so, so ill over the winter it was just awful. It actually ruined my Christmas day. I was sat there trying to open my little presents from Santa and uh, I was sat there by the fire just thinking, oh, I can't even move. So now I try and get myself a flu jab every single year just because for me that's so important in trying to keep my body happy and healthy. And then another tip is basically to exercise. Now I know people are like, oh, it's really cold and it's really disgusting. Exercise doesn't have to be a gym membership. Exercise can be just taking your dogs out for the walk, um, for a walk, sorry, every morning. At least kind of 30 minutes a day just of walking is absolutely perfect just to get your body moving. And I would say for me, it's about taking my dogs, B and Penelope, out for a walk. They absolutely love it and they basically just trot alongside me and it actually gets me active as well as them. So that's really, really cool. If you guys obviously aren't really into massive amounts of exercise, you can also do things like yoga, which is really good for the mind and the soul as well, just to make yourself feel really good and stretching always helps just to kind of like loosen you up a bit and just get you ready for the day. You can do that at home as well and there's so many online tutorials so you don't need to go to any classes which is really really nice. Um, also I'd say go and get just get your trainers on just go out for a run in your local area or a jog. I say run I jog like some crazy person. I don't look very good, I don't look very attractive, but it's all about just kind of just getting moving and just getting going. So I kind of go out with my friends, um, I've been out with my sister, Becky Talk, Becky Talk, and also my friend, Totally Sasha. We go on runs together and kind of just try and do general sort of fitness things in the park together to stay motivated. So maybe if you don't wanna just put your earphones in and just go for it, try and take some friends along with you. And also I'd say go to the gym if you can do. They do really, really fun classes so it doesn't feel like you're exercising Again, you could take friends with you or you might make new friends there. I did kind of legs, bums and tums and I really loved it because I made so many new friends. But for me, I have actually started weight training and 
it doesn't just make you look like the Hulk. You can actually do um, some really nice exercises just to make you a bit stronger. And I just feel a lot more confident in my kind of general well-being at the moment because I know that I'm exercising. To go alongside with exercising, it's so important to keep your body fueled. So I would say um, one of the ways in which you can do that is by protein. So I use two different types of protein. The first one that I use is by Lean Muscle Nutrition, and this is their 100% whey protein. This one is actually chocolate flavored, of course, Course because I love chocolate. I basically have this kind of um, before or sometimes after my workout um, and just to kind of give me a few carbs and a bit of energy just before I'm doing my workout, especially when I'm doing my weights, this is so important because your body needs to refuel. So this is so good if you don't want to be like snacking on whatever, you just want something super quick, this is a really nice way of getting that in. Another way of getting it in, especially if you're a bit like me, I have really low blood sugar and low blood pressure, so I need like a slow release carb sometimes. Times, if especially if I'm doing quite a crazy workout so this one has been really really cool for me this is actually called um, you can so it's generation you can and this is basically the um, I think it's called yes yeah, super starch plain super starch basically what I do is just put like um, a teaspoon of the, well um, a cup full of this into some water and then I take this with me to the gym and while I'm doing my workout I drink it slowly throughout this is basically a slow release carb so it just kind of helps you to just stay kind of on it during your workout and just give you that little boost that you need without giving you like a major rush of energy at the beginning it's just something that's really slow release and quite natural so I really like that sticking with the kind of food and drink sort of side of things obviously one of the most important things to do during this time of year as at any time of the year drink loads of water. So I carry this kind of Buxton water around with me. If I don't carry a bottle of water around, I just don't drink it, I'm a nightmare. So I have to remind myself, I've got really good recently at just carrying one of these, it doesn't have to be obviously this big, but especially if you're in an office or if you're just out and about on the move, just take a bottle of water with you because it will force you to drink it. You can obviously have different flavoured waters and things like that if you don't like actual water. You don't have to have bottled water, it can be tap water. I don't actually like the taste of tap water just because in my local area it doesn't taste that nice. It tastes almost like metallic, it's really weird. I just have that own thing. But um, for me, Buxton water is really, really lovely. And obviously, as I say, yeah, you can add some flavourings in there as well. Um, and then also remember as well, um, caffeine, even if you drink a lot of tea and coffee, the caffeine in it actually kind of nullifies the fact that you're taking in this water because it actually dehydrates you. So you need to be on top of it. Even if you drink like 20 cups of tea a day, like my lovely sister, you still have to make sure that you're keeping hydrated alongside that. So another really good way of getting some goodness back into your body and just helping you is by in increasing your intake of fibrous foods. So fibrous foods are things like oatmeal and blueberries, just stuff that's really kind of going to help your system. Now basically these help to um, increase anti-inflammatory proteins in your body and those in turn then help to fight off illness. So obviously it's just a really good way of kind of keeping your body happy and healthy but also kind of making sure you're not getting poorly and it might sound really strange but it's really good for digestion and stuff like that as well. So that's also another really good tip. Um, mentally I'd say it's all about kind of your mental strength at this time of year. A lot of people kind of get really down because it's really cold outside and you just don't really feel like doing much. You just feel like curling up on the sofa and maybe eating the world, <laughs> which is what I do in front of a good film. So I'd say to keep mentally strong and just to keep yourself going and active, obviously things like the exercise and things will help you as well. But I'd say just take time for you. This is the most important thing to do. You know, take a bath and just have that 30 minutes or whatever it is just for yourself if you can um, and then also things like doing a face mask or something super relaxing you know maybe even with your friends or whatever and just really kind of relaxing and just getting back to you and who you are and just feeling your most happiest and healthiest and then the final things I'd say, get plenty of sleep. So this is so important. People underestimate the power of sleep, but it really, really does help you, especially when you burn the candle at both ends. At the moment, there's a lot of Christmas parties going on. There's a lot of kind of festivities going on. And that obviously includes for some people quite a bit of alcohol as well. So I'd say try and limit the amount of alcohol that you have. It's not going to kind of do wonders for your system. It's actually going to dehydrate you a lot and actually make you feel a bit rubbishy. So obviously everybody loves to go out and have a good party but just make sure that you kind of get a lot of sleep you drink a lot and hydrate again and don't kind of do that all the time because obviously you're just going to end up burning out so i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlogmas i just wanted to give you guys a few ideas of 
tip on tips of how to stay happy and healthy during this time of year. So I hope it's really worked. If there's anything I haven't mentioned and you guys are like, oh my God, you need to do this, write a comment below and let me know. Um, also give this video a massive thumbs up. Of course, if you are loving staying happy and healthy, just like I am, click the like button right now. And don't forget to go and check out my, um, my competition, my giveaway. All of the details are below. So they will come up and you'll be able to enter and win yourself a bag of goodies from the lovely people at Actimel. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I will see you tomorrow for some more Vlogmas. Bye! take it to the side and then wrap it sort of over the top of the hair bubble that's already there and the ponytail that's already in place and then basically just pin it exactly to the point where I want it and then I'm just going to